In the first video of this series, Ron Aguiar gave the security team a very little bit of training. Now we're going to put that training to the test with a scenario. Okay, Tom, Pastor John, we got you some training from Ron Aguiar. I want you to get ready for this first scenario. Remember what he told you to do. Tom, all we need from you now is where do you want to sit? Kevin, I want the best view of the whole church. So I'm sitting in the front, off to the side. Okay, let's get ready and do this. I'm really looking forward to how this security team reacts, and my idea is that I don't think they're going to react quickly enough. We understand that when we put somebody into the proving ground, they're expecting something bad to happen. And typically, a lot of people come into this situation, they don't understand what's happening, and the typical response in the real world is, I don't understand what's happening, I can't believe it's happening, and then finally they get to, oh my, this is happening, I need to do something about that. So. I'm assuming that this security team is going to take a little bit of time to spring into action, and at that point, I'm hoping that they do exactly what they need to do, which is put accurate fire on this bad guy and stop him immediately. I think congregational members will respond like they do in a mall or a large setting. If an active shooter comes into a facility or into their area, they're going to do what they normally do. Sometimes people will hide, sometimes people will run. But in a, in a church setting, I think the same reaction is going to occur. We don't know what everybody does, but I think individually they'll respond accordingly. All right, begin scenario. Enter the church as if you were going to church. Beginning scenario. Okay, now they're coming in, Kevin. Yeah. The disadvantage that we have today is he's got one security team member in the whole church. Yeah. And that's, uh, you, you just need two or three best so to respond to an incident. Mm -hmm. uh, one guy just can't do it alone. We'll see how uh, Tom reacts, Right. Um, whether he moves quickly or... Uh, um, we had to talk about de-escalation and hoping right. that, uh, um, that, that he gets the opportunity. That's right. When this happens, so... And we'll see how quickly he responds. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of interested in seeing uh, if he directs others as well. That's right. Um, he's he's got to face a threat, but there's still you know, 25, 30 people in in the room already. So. Right. Q John. Good morning and welcome to church this morning. My name is Pastor John and as we get started this morning, I've got a few announcements I kind of want to go through and uh, make you aware of some different things that have been going on here in the community and keep us uh, up to date as to some different things that are happening. We're so excited about some different things that are coming up this fall. We've got a brand new Thursday evening service that is starting. Also, many of you have attended our Revelation study and have uh, so greatly enjoyed that. That's also going to be starting up here in September and we're looking forward to the start of that. If you have other questions or information that you're looking for as you continue to come in, we've got bulletins that are available for you that uh, have all the information that you're looking for about different events and activities and to keep you appraised of some different things going on this morning. The great thing about being able to preach every month and every opportunity that I get is I have the opportunity to to share with you some of Sorry. my life and Sorry. to share with you uh, some of what God has done in my own life. Marilyn! Marilyn! Gun! 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 This is all your fault! Everybody get back where you're going! There's exits over here! Get back where you're going! Hey! Everybody sit down! Sit the f*** down! All right, get over here. Anybody got something to say? Anybody got something to say? Huh? Anybody? Yeah. Okay, is everybody good? We're down? Yep. All right. Anybody hurt? Give me a thumbs up if you're feeling okay. Everybody got a thumbs up? Tom, come on in. Pastor John, come on in. White, can you come on over here? 
Want to just do a quick little recap about where everybody went and what everybody saw. Tom, we'll start with you. Um, why'd you do what you did when you come across? Uh, I, when I first saw him get his weapon out, I yelled gun. I uh, initially engaged the subject in this area here, trying to get some cover behind the chairs. He went that way, I came over here, reloaded, put more rounds towards him, and then uh, I ran out eventually and had to, had to get out. Okay, you, you were running out of ammo? Yeah. And, and, and yeah. bailing out? Pastor John, what did you see and, and what happened for you? Yeah, when he pulled the weapon out, I made my way across the stage and saw people trying to get out through a non-exit, and so I encouraged people to make their way to the correct exit so they could actually go out of the building, and then I followed them out. All right, did you see what was happening in here, or were you I just did. busy helping? No, I was trying to keep an eye on where Tom was headed as he was going across and where the shooter was going, just to make sure that I could try to get people across as safely as possible. And Wyatt, I saw that, uh, you know, typical of an untrained shooter, you had some trouble with your concealment well, there. the umbrella. Yeah. The whole thing got caught up in there, but mm -hmm. it had the secondary Right, and was yeah. able to and second then, firearm you you yeah. brought into play out that <laughs> way. Um, that would have been a perfect time for you to crush that distance, and instead of create distance and get cover, get up on him and be shooting at him. He might be trying to shoot through his umbrella or tied up, and in a big group setting like this, we need to stop him as quickly as possible. So accurate shots much closer might be a little bit better. Sure. So, but I know that all of the training as a law enforcement officer is create distance, look Get for cover, cover, you know, engage, reload, and, and you shouted gun right away. You let everybody know what was going on. I don't think anybody in here was confused about what was happening. There was a shooter, correct? <laughs> so may have been an opportunity while Tom was engaging from over here if an armed shooter wanted to engage, but you have to be very careful. We're responsible for all the rounds that go downrange. This was a good scenario. You guys all did a great job. Thank you very much. It's good to have you here. I'm Kevin Michalowski, editor of Concealed Carry Magazine and director of content for the USCCA. I hope you enjoyed this free training video. If you'd like to sign up for our live training broadcast, just click on the button down below, where of course we will be giving away free guns. And please leave your questions and comments down below. We'd love to hear from you.